So starting version 2024, we have uh, introduced uh, simulation results recording player. So let's see how it works. Uh, here we have a built-in sample for water tank uh, FMI. You can open that from simulation samples directory. And I'm using Refresh 2, just released. Uh, it has uh, uh, still technology preview result, sam uh, result player, but uh, actually it works uh, as it should. Right uh, here we have a project uh, which executes the water tank level uh, valve controller and then water tank uh, and it can come you know from FMIs or from the behavior of the system in SysML and uh, now let's uh, create setup uh, to record results in the results player so for that I just need to do the CSV export take the system block as a reference here double click uh, load in player results i need to select this checkbox and then choose what properties i want to load and that would be and record that will be level and valve and then file name let's say data cs csv and i need to record timestamp and then i don't need right at the end because i need all the intermediate values right uh, record it if i will just uh, record at the end it will be just final results in csv file and then now timestamp will be recording every time change and also property change will be recorded as separate lines all that goes to csv file and then it goes automatically placed in the results player we'll see how to do it manually and how to do it automatically so i can put that into all the configs, you know, doesn't uh, uh, need to be separate CSV exports, you know, data uh, for that. And uh, now let's open the viewer where I want to see results. Let's say here, and I can run now simulation. You see, I, I kind of monitoring results. Uh, can go without animation. This will run faster, right? Uh, because Cameo simulates only, Katia Magic simulates only uh, animation when the diagram is open. Does not impact uh, simulation results at all, you know, and also the duration you can control. And now here I will stop it. And I see player, you see here, with the results uh, loaded. So here you can unload this CSV file, load again. This is that CSV file which got saved, loaded. Here I can actually monitor those values here you see and that's what happened you see i can actually jump to any location you see i see those values on the diagram i can see here at any moment i can run the simulation I can run on half speed I can run on uh, one tenth of the speed i can run on uh, 10 times faster again monitor those results in uh, multiple diagrams and uh, also what else I can do, I can select the step in the simulation and I can export that as an instance. That would be exported as an instance, same as you export results at the end or at any moment uh, when you run simulation and then those results can be displayed. So that's how results player works. And we can see that um, in this sample or we can uh, also use another sample gas turbine sample this is the sample which demonstrates uh, how the gas turbine works sml gas turbine parametric simulation it is based on uh, nadal kohrat and uh, Dirk, dr Dirk zimmer paper and it's parameterized uh, gas turbine simulation through the burn cycle and we can uh, run that simulation and get results but first of all if you want to load those results into the player i need to create csv again export name it uh, as i wish then uh, take the block as a reference let's say gas turbine choose what properties i want to monitor that would be overall efficiency work output and uh, work ratio and then I can choose that it load in player true, and then that pretty much it file will be data CSV data version two CSV data version two CSV close, and then I can use it here right as a 
execution listener. Then I run this run this simulation, and I can monitor here. You see here I can track uh, ambient air, air temperature and other parameters, pressure, then compressor. Air comes to compressor again, air parameters, and then air goes to the burner. Then the uh, hot fu uh, fluid goes out, uh, and then next go to the expander again parameters and then host exhaust fluid and then this here we will we are tracking all those parameters so again we are running simulation we see those parameters here we can control uh, pressure ratio we can control uh, inlet temperature we can control uh, and change uh, pressure in the compressor and we can control temperature in the compressor and monitor all other values so we do that and then uh, we run through the simulation cycle that could be based on the use case test case uh, and uh, some custom cycle as uh, uh, scenarios we did right now I stop it uh, I go to this diagram and load the open the player here uh, we'll go to tools results player here we have this player I can s check what properties to see those are the properties I was tracking here is my results and then I can run the simulation and see at any moment what was the values of the simulation and I can uh, stop save those values into the into the instance so that was demonstration of results player, transparent solution, right? Saves the values in CSV, then loads and loads. As you can see here, I can load again the data from the CSV and uh, reuse it, uh, rerun it as it was executed.